Welcome back to a new video. I want to create my own magnets with this magnetic paper on which you can draw and there are two sheets inside and I got this set from the Flying Tiger store in Berlin um, but I bet they are also available in other Flying Tiger stores. So let's stop talking and just start. It sounds as simple as it is. Two sheets of magnetic paper on which you can draw on. The surface feels smooth, similar to a drawing cardboard paper I like to use sometimes, which is from Zeichen Center Ebeling, which is a 190 gram thick paper. At first I didn't knew exactly what I want to draw, then I just started with a chibi character, which is easy to draw, um, who's holding a chubby cat, which is almost big as himself. <laughs> For the line art I used the dark red multiliner because I want the image to look soft and not that harsh at the beginning. Later I just went over with the black liner, the coloration gets pretty dark um, with loads of black but I personally like the small hints of bright colors in this picture. The next magnet I created is a girl in a Japanese sailor school uniform. She reminded me a bit of Minako Aino from Sailor Moon, who's one of my most favorite Sailor Moon characters besides Makoto. This time I used a black multiliner from Copic. Sometimes if you want to create a soft looking coloration with bright and light colors, it's better to use a brown pen to draw or you can also use colored pencils to create pretty soft looking outlines. If the coloration is more dark and rich in contrast, it's good to use a black pen, so most of the brighter parts will not go under. I know that you know that I love creating galaxy-like backgrounds. Therefore, her school dress gets a galaxy pattern. I know that there actually exist galaxy school uniforms like this somewhere on the internet to buy. And it would be fun to get one someday and wear it at the convention or to wear it every day. Because it's so beautiful. Don't you think? Drawing with Copics on this paper feels really good. Even better than I personally thought at first. Adding the colors feels a bit different. It's similar on using watercolors, but it's still easy and great. I guess it would be also possible to use watercolors on this paper or colored pencils. In this video, I used a lot of different multiliners to draw because I really don't use black pens that much anymore and I got a bunch of half empty ones. So I used the remaining ones until they are really empty. After I had so much fun doing a schoolgirl in a uniform with a galaxy look, I created the next galaxy schoolgirl and this girl will remind you of... Insert! anime character name here in the comments. Let's see if we have the same idea of which character she looks familiar with. Let me know it in the comments. Let's see if we have the same idea. I think it's a funny coincidence and it was really not my intention to make her look so familiar to another existing anime character. 
And if you're wondering what kind of pens and colors I used, you can find a whole material list in the description box down below and some other information too about my social media or my Etsy store where you can get a lot of stuff I have created, original art, my first self-published art book and prints. Soon, um, I guess maybe next week, there will be new lucky bags available in my shop with original art inside and some other cute extras which are only available in these lucky bags. So make sure to check out my shop if you'd like to support me and my art. The final girl I'm creating is just a small drawing with a simple flat coloration so the colors just pop up and since I used so much pink and blue, I thought I could just continue using these colors to make the magnets match together. If you have interest to get one of these magnets for free and a set of this magnetic paper, just watch the video until the end when I'm going to tell you how you can get both things. After finishing the coloration, I found my glitter pen from Sakura it's called Stardust and it's really pretty glittery. Of course, a splash of sparkly unicorn tears makes everything great. And that's it. These are the finished self-created magnets I made. Here is a picture of how they look on my little mood board. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't go. I want to make a little giveaway again. And what you can win is your own set and one of the magnets I create in this video. Uh, so if you want to win, um, please make sure to be subscribed to my channel, like this video and write a comment down below um, and tell me which magnet you like to win. Please leave a link to your social media so in case you win I can just write you a message and uh, that's it. <laughs> it's easier to contact you. I will pick the winner next week through the YouTube random comment picker generator and I will also mention the winner in my next video in the description box so stay tuned and Thank you so much for watching, stay creative, bye bye!